everybody hope you guys are all having a fantastic day you know what I was like yo lesson time you know what I don't know where the the strat is just gone I was like I was like where's the strat at so I'm um, ready to dive into this one I, you know one of I think the biggest you know issues and faults with the pentatonic scale I'll explain that all here in just a second um, I was gonna hold up the guitar I don't have it here but don't forget this is the last week to enter the giveaway if you want a chance to win this 60s Squire Stratocaster so that is all linked down below. If you want to enter it, you can. It's super simple to enter. It's like comment and, and subscribe. That's literally it. So uh, other than that, let's dive into this one. I'm going to explain what this video is all about. You can get tabs linked down below if you'd like them. So let's, let's get it. All right, guys. So first off, what is the pentatonic problem that I'm talking about? The issue, the, the bad part of the scale? Well, the probably the worst part of the pentatonic scale is that it's in boxes. Probably the best thing about the pentatonic scale is it's in boxes. So what do, I, what do I mean by that? Why is it good and bad? Well, the great thing is it makes it very easy to identify the boxes and play through them and all that kind of stuff. The bad thing is that they are literally boxes. And when this is like, to me, when people talk about their playing feels stuck in a box, it's because they get used to stuff. You know, all those like classic rock licks that are in there. They're, they're great licks, they sound fantastic, but what you find is, you know, a lot of times people are searching for more of a, I guess like melodic style, to where their phrases tend to blend together and not sound so much like, oh, one lick, one lick, one lick, one lick, and so on like that. Okay, so like I said, it is very common for us to play our pentatonic scale. Something like that, you know? Sounds fine. What I want to do is we're going to do this. What I'm doing is I'm reaching up and I'm grabbing notes from the next box up. So I'm going to break this whole thing down for you. And like I said, once you get used to playing the lick, you start kind of visualizing two boxes at the same time. This I've done lessons on similar things to this, but this is a whole different kind of like you know, mechanical idea for us to try to get through. So let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, so like I said, it's all out of E minor pentatonic, the ultimate scale. But what we're doing is we're starting right here and it's a nice like six note sequence. So it's similar feel to almost like when you're doing a three note per string. <laughs> You know, it's the same kind of vibe, do 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 And you can tie it together if you want to make it in like a 12 note feel, whatever you want. But basically I'm starting right here on four on the G. Okay. And then I'm going to go to three, five on the B. And then three, five, seven on the high E string. So. And I just kind of wind that back down. I'm alternate picking all of this. So I go four, three, five, three, five, seven. Five, three, five, three, and then just repeat it. Okay, now if you play it just us and you get that six note feel. Okay. Now what happens is I shift up. So before I was playing box two, reaching up to box three, I go to box three, I play seven, then I go to five, eight, and then five, seven, all the way up to 10, kind of a big stretch here. Okay, and now that is going from box three and I'm reaching up to box four. So you can see how now I'm combining the boxes before we would have been stuck here. You know, just kind of like cycling through this one position. But now I'm reaching up, getting that next one. Okay, I shift up again. And this is, I'll, I'll explain something else a little bit later, but nine. And then I'm going to go to 8 to 10 on the B, reach back, get 7, 10, 12. I'm reaching up to box 5 now, so from 4 to 5. Okay? My, my uh, string slipped off the fret. So, okay, and then get to where you can cycle all these. You want to get to where you can just kind of repeat it. Okay? 
I shift up again. Now we're get, it's getting a little bit easier because the notes are getting closer together. All right, we're gonna play 12 on the G. Then you're gonna go to the B string, which is gonna go 10 to 12, so it's all box five so far. 10, 12, 15. Ah, we reached all the way up to box one now. Okay. Throw all your good old... All those licks are, but now you can kind of walk into them a little bit differently. You know, little little things you can throw in here now with this uh, kind of pattern. Now I keep going up. I'm gonna go to 14 on the G. And then 12, 15, 12, 15, 17 is my reach note, okay? Okay, all that there, I'm reaching up to box two. Very similar, kind of like a Zach Wilde kind of thing when he plays through, uh, uh, I can't remember the lick now. Oh, uh, what is it from? It's for an Ozzy song. Maybe it's I Don't Want to Change the World. I can't remember. He kind of walks it up. But anyways, so we have that one. Again, just a good picking exercise too, to sit there and, and kind of like cycle through that. Shifting up again. 16 on the G. 15, 17. 15, 17, 19. Okay, so 16, 15, 17, 15, 17, 19. And we'll leave it there for that one. You can resolve it nicely to your E note. But that's just going from box two to box three. Now, when you get these down on your fingers ascending, try to descend all of them. So, like, sit here and try to get to where you can ascend each one. Go up to the next one. The next one. The next. Oh, I messed up, sorry. Okay, and then descend. Oh, that wrong one again. Maybe I need to practice a little bit more. And something you could do that's really simple is take this pattern, you know, you don't have to stay on these three strings. Move it across the fretboard. Like I said, this is all about breaking out of the box, so take this idea. So you notice how we played one note, two note, three notes, the whole way through. Take it and play it across your pentatonic scale. So if we did it up here, it'd go like this. A nice sounding lick, right? I, I think that sounds great. So I'm just going uh, 15. Then I'm gonna go 12, 14, 12, 14, 17. Okay. Now I go back a string and I start on the A, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 16. Back on the D, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 17. And then 14 on the G, 12, 15, and then 12, 15, 17. All the way through it. We have it, descend it, and so on and so on. So there's that one. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Like I said, this was just a huge kind of like eye-opener thing for me when I'm working with the pentatonic scale. And um, outside of that, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Like I said, get the tabs, enter the giveaway, all that good stuff. It's all hip hop and hamping and yo, can you dig it? Can you dig it? So I'll see you guys later. Woo!